Senior Director of Public Policy at the National Council. And I'm Chuck Angolia, Vice President of Public Policy at the National Council. And uh, welcome to the next installment of the National Council's Survival Guide for Hill Day. And today we just want to give you a couple of ideas of things you should and shouldn't do during your Hill visits uh, to help make you feel comfortable and have a successful time when you're here in Washington. And I think, first of all, one of the most important things is to just be yourself and represent your passion. And I think through like really think about the details of the information you provide, it's in the end it's most important to really share your story and the consumer's story. I think also too remembering that you are working at an organization that's an employer in your community is really important. So think about the basic information about your organization, how many people are employed, what level of staff, how many consumers are you serving, those are all really important details to share. You know, do you provide services to consumers around your state? Is it in a certain area? Um, you know, just the age range of the consumers you serve, that's also really important as well. And just a procedural thing is uh, there's a ritual at the beginning of every single Hill meeting, and that's when you pass out your business cards, because um, the Hill staff will want to keep a record of everybody that they met with, and if by you giving them a business card, that's a really easy way for them to keep track of that. Um, so at the beginning of the meeting, make sure that you introduce yourself, and then you have the opportunity to tell that story about your agency and about the consumers that you serve. As you're preparing to come to Washington, think also too about what resources you can share um, about your organization. So think about, is there a one-pager? Um, maybe a printout of the homepage of your website that describes your organization. Things that the staffers can keep with them afterwards and refer to um, if they want to learn more information about what you do every day. And we never know how long these visits are going to last. Sometimes it could be 10 minutes, sometimes it could be 30 minutes, but overall they're going to be fairly brief. Um, so you will have an opportunity to look at the uh, talking points that the National Council produces, and you know you want to be able to be uh, as succinct as possible. Um, but also, as Mohini was talking about, put these issues in the context of your day-to-day -day reality and what, how these issues affect you. You know, I think a really great tip along with that to think about is, you know, we'll certainly be talking to you a lot about the talking points for our um, advocacy agenda. But take a careful look at those before you actually do your visits. And, you know, a lot of times when I'm going to meetings, I'll take a couple minutes to collect my thoughts. And so think about those talking points and how you can connect it to your work so you feel comfortable using those words and um, making the points as strongly as possible. And you know, if, if you get asked a question that you don't know the answer to, that's okay. That gives you an opportunity. It actually gives you an opportunity to then follow up with that staff person uh, when you get back home or to make a connection with the National Council. So try to be as helpful as possible, as truthful as possible, um, and uh, take advantage of that time that you have there to invite that person next time that they're home in the district or back in the state. Uh, invite them to come visit your agency and see the difference that you make uh, for their own eyes. You know, I know many of you are involved in our letter writing campaign, which is just great and a really strong way you can share your consumer's voice, even if they're not with you during your Hill visits. If for some reason you don't have letters from our campaign um, to share with the Hill staffers, think about also bringing any um, coverage you got in uh, local press or like really any stories that can describe what your consumers do as they engage with your services. And no matter where that staff person or that member of Congress stands on our issues, uh, make sure you say thank you, uh, both in that meeting and in a follow-up, uh, either email or personal letter. Uh, not many people take the time to do that, and when uh, the staffers or members of Congress get a thank you, it really means a lot to them. Overall, we want you to be yourself, uh, to be passionate, um, and not to get too worried about any of this. It's all about, the, actually the most important thing that you're going to be doing here in Washington is making a connection and building a relationship uh, with that office. That's a great point, Chuck. I think, um, you know, along with saying thank you, also offering yourself as a resource afterwards is really important. So even, um, you know, towards the end of your visit uh, during Hill Day, thanking them for their time and letting them know that you're available to them both by phone or in person um, in district 
is a really great way to continue to build that meaningful relationship. And when you send up those follow-up communications, say that again. There's no harm in reminding them. And you know, usually Hill offices, they'll keep your letters on record. Um, and so if they open up your little file and they see that you've repeatedly said you're a resource, you never know when they might reach out to you um, to try to take advantage. So we look forward to seeing you in July. Thanks so much for your interest in the National Council's Hill Day, uh, for your ongoing advocacy. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. See you in a few weeks.